right? I mean, I think, you know, um, recently I've been reading and researching a lot about and did a podcast on tenacity and willpower. Mm. And um, there was this idea early on from Baumeister and colleagues that willpower is a limited resource. Some e of that- Ego depletion? Willpower. Ego depletion. Yes. Um, it was controversial. Um, they showed that, you know, replenishing glucose in between hard tasks could restore willpower. They showed that, uh, uh, was it juries or judges that were low in blood glucose were more likely to give harsher sentences, stuff like this? Yeah, it, it, it sort of wicked out to a number of naturalistic situations and it made good sense. And then my colleague, Carol Dweck, also in the psychology department at Stanford, um, most famously known for her work on mind, growth mindset, did an experiment in which they um, essentially asked whether or not tenacity and willpower are limited in terms of being a, some sort of resource and also whether or not it was somehow linked to glucose availability fuel uh, in the brain and body and found that if people thought or were told that mind that uh, excuse me willpower was a limited resource. That's indeed what they observed experimentally. But that if they were taught or were told that willpower is unlimited and and divorced from glucose levels, well then that's exactly what you so saw. You say, so you're saying that learning about ego depletion and believing that willpower is a limited resource is an information hazard that is self-fulfilling. Uh, potentially. Now, 